it over to meteorologist Jordan Steele. You got the forecast on repeat, huh? Yeah, you know what? We've been keeping an eye on the camera, see if we get some of that fog to move back in. It seems like around this time we start to see some of it impact Seattle. Uh, Bellevue area cities all the way up towards Everett and all the way down in the Olympia area right now Seattle pretty quiet chilly though my goodness 38 currently but as long as we have that wind sticking around north wind at 16 miles per hour that will limit the amount of fog potential we have for tomorrow so let's talk numbers first some of the colder spots Shelton at a very burr like temperature of 29 meanwhile Olympia you're sitting right at freezing Bellingham at 33 you've been stuck there for a couple of hours Mount Vernon excuse me Arlington at 28 and then out towards the coast almost at 40. We'll call that balmy just for the type of air mass we're in. I believe most of us we will wake up 20s and 30s overnight tonight. We're still talking fog, especially in Puget Sound, but with that wind, we might limit the fog growth, which is good, right? That means more sunshine. Hopefully we will move through sooner rather than later. Clear skies out the door right now for the majority of us and uh, zooming out, showing you the big picture, right? As Amanda said, the pattern is on repeat. Yes, it is, and it will not budge as long as we have this upper air pattern showing this, and I think this will be stubborn. It'll stick with us. Now, what we do see, especially east of the Cascades, is not a lot of air movement. Thankfully, we have a north wind at about 15 miles per hour. They've got nothing towards the Columbia Basin, so this is going to deteriorate their air condition, their air quality. We're talking about pollutants that will increase, respiratory problems for those with sensitive lungs, and we're watching to see if some of that will move into our direction. If we can keep that wind here locally, I don't think it'll happen. Our UW high resolution model tracks that fog coverage, and it, again, it shows it early tomorrow morning, especially sitting right over the water areas, and then it should mix out quickly. This is 9 a.m. Notice it shrinks in size. We're now looking at clear conditions inland, but we're still seeing it hover over Whidbey Island, and then by midday, it's gone for pretty much everybody, mostly sunny skies. It looks actually really nice, just chilly yet again, and then we'll watch it develop again for the next several mornings. So here's the big picture. Now I say big picture. This is the two week outlook stagnant, right? This thing is sticking around, staying very dry, no rain, maybe a little bit next week, just a few showers on the 13th. We need that pattern to break down. So this is our rainfall accumulation. Of course, it goes into Wednesday, goes into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, nothing. Then we go into Wednesday. Okay, maybe we introduce just a little bit out there here on the uh, west side of the Cascades from Washington down to Oregon, but really that's it. And then we go all the way into next weekend and we're still bone dry. Again, we need that pattern to flip flop and I think it will, but probably not till the second half of December. So there you have it 46, 48, 49, 48. And as you can see, morning fog and afternoon sun through the extended period, ladies.